I get a lot of PR pitches in my inbox. After a while, you learn how to filter the good from the bad. The email I got from the Sir Lancelot's Armor PR people, though, was definitely one of the awesome ones. This is the grandiosely named Holy Grail series screen protector from Sir Lancelot's Armor. According to the press release, it's made from tempered bulletproof glass and ranks number 9 on the Mohs hardness scale, just behind Diamond. We usually don't bother reviewing screen protectors at Ars Technica, but screen protectors made from bulletproof glass? Oh, you bet. I was expecting some kind of tank-like monstrosity to arrive in the mail, but what I got instead were two fancy boxes containing two very thin strips of iPhone-shaped glass, which, in sufficient quantity, I'm sure is bulletproof. But this? I have my doubts. But we'll get to that. First, though, you apply the Holy Grail screen protector to your phone just like any other screen protector. The Sir Lancelot's armor folks are extremely proud of the fact that the Holy Grail screen protector goes on without any bubbles and can be easily removed and reapplied. Anyone who spent 30 minutes struggling with proper plastic film application will definitely appreciate that. I don't have a spare iPhone 5 of any flavor to test with, unfortunately, but I do have a few old iPhone 3GSs, which is why the screen protector clearly doesn't match up with the phone in this video. Even if it did match up, though, the screen protector doesn't quite vanish. Weirdly, there's a subtle pattern of dots in the glass that doesn't quite show up on video, but is clear to the naked eye, especially in direct sunlight. Other than the dots, though, on a properly sized device, it's essentially invisible. So how to test this screen protector that carries the name of Arthurian legend? Well, I figured I'd start small with some spare keys. And sure enough, no scratches. All right! Tempered bulletproof glass one, household implements zero. How about a big-ass screwdriver? No problem. The glass easily withstands a good bit of forceful pounding with my trusty flathead and its... Uh-oh. Come on! We're only like two things in. I've got a whole other stack of stuff to test with. All right, just, we're, we're just, we're gonna keep going. Just pretend it's fine, everything's fine. Next up, the mighty claw hammer to test the grail's metal. First the blunt end and then the claw itself, but the screen remains broken. Oh. But can the grail withstand the pure piercing power of a Brad-filled staple gun? Wait, seriously? What the hell kind of bulletproof glass is this? Keys, screwdriver, hammer, and staple gun all have fallen before the... All right, look, we might as well just bring out the drill. I had a whole thing planned with the drill, where we do the spinny thing and some dramatic narration, but, uh, you know, whatever. Clearly, the already weakened grail cannot withstand the full torque of an 8-amp corded drill and a pointy wood-boring bit thing. You know, I was saving this for the last resort after the hammer and stuff failed. Like, I was sure they would, and they didn't. So now I'm just beating the crap out of this poor thing. If anything, I feel kind of bad for the phone. So did the screen protector survive? No, of course not. Go ahead with the... Yeah, the noise. Yeah, make, make the noise. Yep, that's the noise. Yep. This being Ars Technica, there's only two things left to do. The first thing is to run over the screen protector with a car. So let's go ahead and knock that out real quick. <laughs> yeah, buzz. Yep. The next thing to do, though, is to get a fresh grail, a fresh phone, and take a trip to the gun range.